Now, back in China, the search and the rescue operation continues in the eastern province of Fujian. In the wake of Sunday's deadly landslide in Tining County, one person is still missing and 35 have been confirmed dead. Rescuers say a search will now be conducted along a river. At the site, more than a dozen survivors were hospitalized. Four of them have since been discharged. Meanwhile, DNA and analysis is underway to identify the victims, the first of whom are said to be announced this morning. Our reporter Hunan has been following the rescue operation in the past few days at the site and tells us more. Nightmare struck the workers in their sleep. Over 30 workers on the construction site of the hydropower station of Tainin County, Fujian province, were reported missing. Bridges down, roads caved in. Rescue teams are heading to the site on foot. Fourteen survivors were hospitalized after receiving surgery and other medical treatment, but no more survivors were sent here. Large-scale machines arrived together with nearly 200 armed police soldiers vowed to find the missing. Life signals were detected. The soldiers are working on the location where a life signal was detected. The detection machine is very sensitive to possible living signals. We followed one signal but just recovered two bodies. Right now it's 2.30 in the morning, almost 22 hours after the landslide hit the construction site of the hydropower station. As we can see, over 100,000 cubic meters of rocks and mud had rushed downhill. But the heavy rainfall overnight suspended the rescue work. When the excavators got back to work, more bodies were recovered from the rubble. I detected the first life signal. There were three locations of life signals, one up on the hill where we found four bodies. One is down at the river bank. The life signal lasted for hours and then vanished around four in the morning. Today we have recovered 18 bodies so far. Minor dangers may burst out at any time during the search for the missing. The hydropower station reported nine hydrogen tanks buried under the rocks and mud. They might explode during our exploration. The two of us are going in to make the remaining tanks safe. The construction site where 33 victims were found has been skimmed to the bottom. We are searching the surrounding area of 100 meters long and 50 meters wide people. Also, our main task now is to move away the rocks and mud on site and clear the remaining debris. As of 1.30 in the afternoon on May the 10th, 57 hours after the landslide hit the hydropower station construction site, the rescue team has found 35 bodies and one people are still missing. The rescue team are speeding up the cleaning of the debris and are gradually withdrawing from the site. The rain is pouring down again. 200 more hilly landslides were reported in counties, and the flood season is about to come. Other than a quick response and all out efforts including rescuing the victims, full alert of possible and potential disasters and pre hand preparations are also needed to decrease the casualty to the lowest level. Hunan CCTV, Fujian Province.